Sonic beep, the beep beep boom. Here's another round of guess that tune. Caller on line one. What's your answer? Doctor Hay. Uh, uh, Fred, not Miss. Oh, do I still get a copy of your CD, Gabe? Sorry, you've got to be a winner of Guess That TV Tune. Remix. Boy, is that the third speaker you've blown this week? Caller on line two. What's your answer? We've lost our feet for the Bob Moore Fair. Is not the right answer. And that is a very strange name for a TV show. No, we've lost our feet. All the rain last week has flooded the lower meadow. What happens at the fair? Oh, it's the event of the year. Coconut shies, base painting. How there... many people turn up at the fair? Visitors come in their hundreds. Hundreds? What does every fair in the world lack? A castle. You just found yourself a new home for the Bogmore Fair. Bogmore FM. But what about the beast? Rich, what about the beast? <laughs> what a donut. Thanks for your help, Dylan. Thanks for Traffic's lunch. Where, what with the five a day? The for my vegetable patch, I'm going to rustle up my classic veggie burgers and for afters. Rhubarb and custards, yum. Mm. I am so glad I don't have an appetite anymore. Any new ideas for the Bogmore Fair? Please let me know. What do you mean? Well, Walt Disney is putting the fan back into the castle. Still don't understand, third time lucky. I've invited the fair to be held at the castle grounds. With the amount of people it attracts, it will finally put us on the tourist map. Oh, um, right, yeah, well done. But the beast. What about the beast? The beast. Gabe, mate, what are you going on about? Many, many years ago, ten, in fact, the fair was held in this castle. But a terrible beast came and ransacked the stalls, ate everything on them. And the fair was never held here again. That's great publicity. Possible appearance by the Bogmore Beast. Gabe, are you talking average beast or scary big beast? Oh, enough about the beast. It's <laughs> a stupid superstitious story. Was it something I said? Rich, I've got a kick in. Jimmy's got a talent idea for a stall at the fair. Because, you know, I can see a future, right? <laughs> there you go. I already knew he was going to say that. So this is where you've been hiding. Oh, since when did vegetables smell so bad? Since Prince William decided to donate all his manure for the good of my carrots. And what is that thing, Cinderella? That thing is going to win me first prize at the biggest fruit and vegetable competition at the fair. <laughs> well, careful you don't step on the vine. The judges have to check that it's grown here, so if the vine gets broken, I'd be disqualified. This competition really means a lot to you, doesn't it? Well, my granddad won it 12 years running. That's why I got so upset when Gabe was talking about the beast. What do you mean? Well, everyone said that because my granddad grew such massive vegetables, that's what attracted the beast who ate the vegetables and ruined the fair. A bit superstitious. It cost him his reputation. That was then. And this is now. I mean, that thing, that thing's got first prize written all over it. As long as it proves to everyone there never was a stupid beast. <laughs> Open up. Rule one about hanging out with a ghost. You can't be scared of stories about monsters. What have you come as? I'm Dylan. The beast catcher? You really think the beast of Bogmore's real? Mm, people thought dragons were real. Which really hurt Trafford's feelings. Uh, sometimes I wish I had a more worthy opponent, but meh, why make life difficult? <laughs> Before the fair came to the castle, Grandad was always so jolly, always smiling and having fun. But then when everyone became so horrible towards him, he just kind of lost his sparkle. Look, good on you for entering. I mean, any competition is nerve-wracking. Hey, why don't you borrow one of my fancy frocks for the photos? Me? In a dress? On what planet? Well, you could always wear your jeans underneath. But it would really stick it to those idiotic farmers if you won. Imagine their faces. <laughs> it would, wouldn't it? F5. <laughs> Visit, Mystic J. 
the all-seeing feeling booster for the future. Gabe, I predict that your store will sell harmonium compilation CDs. If I was you, I'd make a plan B, Jimmy. I'm the man with the gift. Seriously, try me out. Oh, uh, is Chelsea going to win a match this weekend? I predict that they will either lose, win or draw. Can you predict that my star will be the talk of the fair? My veggie burgers. Oh, whatever. Hamburgers are sold last year. Anyway, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go and pick some veggies for the recipe. Uh, oh, hold on. I need to make some new flyers to post around the village for the fair. Can you help? <sighs> OK, fine. Jimmy, after you finish playing Wizard of Oz, go and pick some vegetables. I predicted he would ask me and not you. So, I've been thinking of ideas for our own Bogmore Fair. Here it is. Crazy Cheese Golf. What do you think? Hmm? I'd probably eat my own tail. Oh, stop being so grumpy, Diego. Give it a go. OK. Every time you pot a ball, you get to eat a bit of cheese as a prize. Ready? Birdie! Oh, where? Well, well, no, because I got the... Oh, never mind. It's me. Is, is that you? It's here. The beast is here. Great new flies for the fair, Kate's veggies for her burgers. Now, all we need to do is make some stalls. Jimmy, there's loads of callers lined up for guests that tune. Cool, I'll be right up. What is that? A massive pumpkin. No, what's it doing in here? It's too heavy to lift onto the table. No, I mean, why have you picked it? Because Kate told me to go large on the veggies. I think she's planning on feeding the whole fair. That's Kate's prize pumpkin. She's entering it in the fair competition. It can't be picked until it's judged. Rich! I think I'll go play another tune. If Kate sees it, she's going to lose the plot. Um, uh... Here's the rest of the flyers. Oh, thanks. <laughs> just, um, just stick them on the table. Um, what are you doing with that tablecloth? We're, um... Drying it. Drying it? Drying it. Drying it? <laughs> yeah, uh, trying it, you know, cos uh, there's no wind outside, so we thought we'd uh, act like a clothesline and waft it. All right, then. Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to go and check on my pumpkin, because the judges arrive tomorrow and it needs to look clean and sparkling. Um, uh, Kate, um, I've told you the problem with listeners about uh, your great veggie grind skills, and there's just there's a bunch of callers just waiting to pick your brains. But I thought Jimmy and Gabe were doing guests that too. And we'll be taking more of your calls for guests. Um, how Kate does it? I mean, um... How, how to grow massive pumpkins. Oh, well, suppose I got time to chat to one or two fellow veggie lovers. Great. I mean, you head up to the studio and um, this just needs one more minute to dry. OK. What are we going to do? I'll keep Kate busy. Um, you go back to the vegetable patch trying to reattach the vine. It needs to look normal, all right? Okay. Reattach the vine. Reattach the vine. Reattach the vine. Oh! No. Oh. Ow. 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 That was a song we haven't heard for a while. When um, look, we've got uh, twenty callers lined up to speak to Kate. So, uh, caller number one. Uh, thanks for your question, Gillian. Um, so, Kate, uh, to grow uh, huge vegetables, do you have to have the X Factor? Oh, um, right. Well, no, just a bit of time and patience, really, Gillian. <laughs> oh, good. Great to know. Um, corner number two. Could it be Scooby-Doo? Could what be Scooby-Doo? 
Could it be um, that cartoon sometimes uh, featuring um, vegetables? Um, could have inspired your green fingers? These are really weird questions. <laughs> Coming up with new songs? Check. Making the best milkshakes in Bogmore? No problem. Researching the vine to a pumpkin the size of Godzilla is impossible. Well, thanks for those, uh, questions. I'm off to check on my pumpkin. She's coming, we need to hide it. Hide it? The size of a small castle. Well, luckily, we live in a huge castle, so there must be somewhere she won't look. Here, well, buddy. If Kate sees this, she's gonna chop me up and use me as French fries. So, if you don't mind, drop the paintbrush and grab the pumpkin! Thanks. I hope you're killing me. Which is all considering I'm a ghost. Well, if Kate sees this, she's gonna turn me into a ghost. Oh, quick, there's someone coming. Richard Dillon's room, now. Perfect, she'll never go in there. Hello, Dylan. Hello, sister. What's gotten into you? Have you spotted the beast yet? The beast? Wait, what was that? What was what? And that noise in my room. Look, can you just keep a secret? Not if I can have fun with it. It's the beast, isn't it? Uh, yes. Yes, it is. Oh, hang on. The beast of Bogmore is in his bedroom. What are you all standing out here for? The beast of Bogmore is in our room. What? There is no beast of Bogmore. Oh, there is. I've been stalking it around the castle, and Gabe's got a trap in there. You've been tracking an idiotic story all day. Come on, we've got to find Trapper before he gets attacked. Dylan, it's a load of rubbish. Exactly. Oh, um, actually, Kate, um, it might be a bit of a risk, you know, on the off chance there, there could be a beast. <laughs> what? Now you believe this nonsense. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, maybe. I mean, you know, better safe than sorry, eh? It's superstitious rubbish. What's wrong with you lot? Hi guys, just chillaxing. Oh, boys are weird. For once I have to agree with you. Well, if the beast is in here, I'm off to find it. Jimmy. You look like a moldy old wedding cake. Hey, it's the only thing I can think of. I couldn't hide this thing on my own. It's far too heavy. Unfortunately, mate, that's called taking one for the team. I'll fight you on that. No, yeah, right. To what night? Look, the judges arrive at midday tomorrow and we need to find another place to hide it until then. And if Kate sees that this thing's missing? Don't worry. I'll handle it. Need a hand? Yes, please. I can't get the floor. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm falling. Gabe. Hey. Okay. Okay, wait. There's something going on that I don't know about. Look, about your pumpkin. It's too dark to see it now. I'll just see it in the morning. Look, Rich, this was your clever idea to invite the fair to the castle. I just don't want anything to go wrong. I know. Look, it's going to be fine, I promise. And what were you going to say about the pumpkin? Um, it's, it's got winner written all over it. I mean, the judges are going to flip out when they see it. Hopefully for the right reasons. Where's Kate? She's gone home. Thank goodness. Now I've got some time off from babysitting that pumpkin. Where have you put it? Ah, we've put it somewhere safe. Pumpkin! Where are you going with a pumpkin? I can't see the garden. Well, make sure you clean it first. It needs to look amazing. No, no, no. Let's go. My bar. My room. Why is the door bolted? I wanted to be here as soon as you arrived. Yeah, I can see that. Nice PJs. This is my burger making PJs. You what? Well, the judges aren't going to be arriving for a little while, and the burgers are not going to cook themselves, are they? Wait, 
You want to help me make veggie burgers? I was cooking toast before I could crawl. Yeah, that's all you ever make, and it's always burnt. All right, well, you can be head chef, and I'll peel some carrots, and we can make a monster bash for the fair. Deal. As long as you promise not to say monster again today. Deal. And you might want to think about changing out of those pyjamas, Mr. Sous Chef. <laughs> That was too much, even for me. Uh. Well, now what am I going to use as a crazy golf hole? Uh. Hmm, fine. I'll just use you. Uh. Oh. It's bound to tear up when she sees how clean this thing is. Just tell her we've opened up a beauty parlor for vegetables. With plenty of time until the judges arrive. Of all the places to hold the Bogmer Fair, again. Keep all your wits about you. This castle attracts more than just visitors to the fair, I can tell you. So, what do you think? They're amazing. Who would have thought some messed up cabbage could taste so good? I'll tell you what, a few bits of bacon on the top won't go and miss that. Feeling good about today? Yeah. Nervous, though. What is it to worry about? Was that the doorbell again? Sounds like it. It's not... Who? Definitely. It definitely can't be the judges. Good morning. It's the judges! judges. We, we need to get this out of here. Pleasure to welcome you to the castle. I'm sure it is. To make up for the last time we were here. Your granddad put on quite a show with those monstrous shenanigans. You judged the competition ten years ago. We did. And we're back to make sure no creature makes a shambles of it this year. Did it come this way? Did what come this way? Obviously not. You know if you saw it. It's massive. Um, I really need to take care of that, Rich, so can you stay here and look after the judges? Thanks. <laughs> yeah, um, why don't I give you guys a tour of the castle? No, no tour. We want to get out of this place as soon as possible. No, then. Where's this pumpkin? Where indeed. Um, actually, it's just out the back door, so if you'd like to follow me, um, it's the quickest way to the pumpkin. Surely this isn't the way to the garden. Anna, 
It's a funny roof, but people built castles in a funny way back in the day. It's just along here now, judges. Please, slow down, it's too slippy. Perhaps you shouldn't have polished it so much. Have you not been this way before? You, um, have, you, have you seen this painting? It's, uh, it's, it's very old. Um, a, bit, a bit like you, really. Oh, the dress! I can't hold it! It's, it's slipping. It's getting closer. I can feel it. Hold it. I'm doing it. Oh, turn it, turn it. thing out the back door. What was all that banging? Kate, you're not going to believe this. I just thought it's hey, you. No, we don't want to know. <coughs> this way to the garden, please. It's no good. You do that from the start. We've been carrying that thing around all day. It didn't occur to me until now. Look, we need a distraction at the vegetable patch. We can't let the judges see the vinyl, all right? I've got an idea. Just this way. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's just nothing this way. I can't believe it's been taking you this long to find out. How could you be so mean? Mean? You've been having the time of your life chasing after me. Well, I suppose that has been fun. Almost as much fun as I've had tricking you. Listen to this. I go laughing. Has he got a giraffe sneezing? No, but a, a horse whistling? <laughs> 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 this way. Oh. 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 Have oh. you done this? Look, Kate, it's all my fault. I'm so sorry. It's so shiny. Shiny? Yeah, shiny, I mean. I'm so sorry that I didn't ask you about cleaning it first. Oh, Rich. Quite a, a sizable pumpkin young lady. <laughs> Impressive. Yes, it is. But before we get carried away, we need to check the vine. Oh. Why is that boy dressed as a lobster? <laughs> Did anyone order a goat? I didn't see that coming. Uh, the goat gave me a fright and I pulled on the vine and I, 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 I broke it. Definitely didn't see that coming. So what are we going to do now? If you broke the vine, then... Then it must have been... ...hole when you... ...broke it. Mustn't it? What? Yes, 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 it must. So, um, yeah, the vine gets a tick. Come on. So, uh, how did I do? Uh, the winner will be announced in due course, so long as we can find our way through this castle. Well, that's that, then. The only question now is, how are we going to get this pumpkin to the fair? I'm sure the three of us can manage. OK, great, but um, it's going to be really heavy, though. Yeah, we know. You know what? Nothing. <laughs> <gasps> so, how do I look? Like a movie star. <sighs> Too much for a Bogmore fair? You kidding me? Go get him, Tiger. <laughs> And the 
winner of the biggest fruit and vegetable competition is, is, is Kian. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Thanks, Rich. Look, these last couple of days, well, you really are full of surprises. Not as surprising as that. <gasps> Stop that! Right now! Clover! Come away! Clover! You know that guy. No, him. I have been lumbered with this greedy goat for more than ten years. He follows me everywhere. Well, if Clover's that naughty at ten, imagine how naughty he was as a kid. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe it was Clover who ate all the vegetables at my granddad's last competition. Well, I have to admit, if there's one creature who has a beast-like appetite, it's Clover. See, my predictions are right. The goat is the real beast. <laughs> I don't really think that's a prediction, Jimmy, to be honest. True. But I do predict an apology from Maud to Kate is right around the corner. Yes. Um, I'm sorry, Kate. OK, you got your smile back. I'm smiling because my grandfather's honour is back intact. Congratulations, Kate. You won. Well, you know, they say it's a taking part that counts, not the winning. Really? <laughs> no way. <laughs> I won. <laughs> well done.